Hey there everybody and welcome back. For those of you that are looking to build applications, specifically an application to resize images, but you don't know how to code or maybe you're just starting to learn the basics of Python, stay tuned. I'm going to be walking through how to do that using ChatGPT in today's video. Now before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. All right, so typically with ChatGPT, you can get a really good template for a lot of different uh, codes, uh, honestly, different programming languages. For example, you can use it for HTML and Python, which are the videos I've been making more recently, but it actually can help with tons of different things, whether it be concepts, other programming languages, etc. So we're going to use Python today, and what we're going to be doing is building a basic application with a basic interface that allows me to resize an image. So in this case, I have an image on my desktop. If I right click here, you'll see we have all of these different options. So we have the options to rename, share, delete, copy, etc. But when you have right clicked on an image, typically you have an option to view properties. Now from here, you can see the actual size of the image as in the physical space that it takes up. But you can also go under details and see the dimensions. So we see 2013 by 1954. So we want to build something that can resize this. So we're going to start with ChatGPT and we're going to say, write me, let's see, code for a Python application with a basic interface. This needs to allow a user to select an image when the application first runs. This needs to be a file explorer dialog. When the user selects the image, they need to have a new, we'll just say a new screen where they can have access to two text boxes. The first box is where they can specify a width and the second is where they can specify the height. There will then be a button they can press which will allow or we'll just say which will resize the image based on the width and height they specified and will then save this image with the same name and add the word copy and it will be saved in the same folder now, this is quite a bit of content, but I don't think that this is going to be an overly complex application in and of itself. So you'll see we have basic interface. So we will be importing a couple of libraries, utilizing a variety of different functions. So I have a new Python file started. So you can go to Visual Studio Code, click File, New File, and you'll just name it as whatever.py. Now it looks like this has finished. So we're just going to paste it and try to run it and see what happens. So you'll see we have our image resizer. We have some text here. If we click browse, let's grab this. Let's just try it with a PNG file first. Now with the new width and height, let's try 100 by 100. You'll see resized and saved as copy. So let's try closing this screen and see if it is actually saved. So you'll see we have the new copy of this image here. If we right click, we can click properties and we will see as we're scrolling through in the detail section, it's 100 by 100. Let's try to open the image and see if it works in an image editor. 
and you'll see we can zoom, it gets pixelated because the default size is substantially smaller. Now, one thing I wanna check because this worked first time around without any issues, let's try resizing it and making it larger. So we'll select the image and we'll go larger than what the current image is. So we'll try 1000 or honestly 10,000, why not? And we'll resize and save. And I don't know if this is because of how much larger, but it looks like it just got hung up for a second. And now I uh, looks like this is actually copy, copy. So let's click properties, go to details, and you'll see our new dimension is 10,000 by 10,000. So we'll double click this and then uh, basically here's the image. So that's really all that there is to it. So this was a very, very simple application. And if you wanna figure out how to basically run this as like an executable file so that you can just run it on your device, check the links in the description. I have a video on converting a PY file to an EXE, but that's really all that there is to it. Now, if you want access to this source code as an image resizer, you can check out the source code in the source code library over at codelessfix.com in the coded apps section. And I will see you all in the next video.